when you post about your terrible man? Number one, the reason why they don't leave, I'll tell you right now, it's money. A term relationship or a marriage, he's probably going to have to, if there's children involved, pay child support. The ghost I see here raising my kids. They want guys to simp for them. It's passport bros. Bro. Those got disgusting. Hey guys, thank you for watching More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. But what do you want us to say when you post about your terrible man? These women are looking for one of three things. The first and the most common is they want to hear that You've been through this too. Your man used to act exactly like that. But here's a magic trick you did and it turned him into a wonderful guy and a great provider. They want to know what the secret sauce is. They see a good man and they have to believe, oh, he used to be a horrible troglodyte just like mine. This is sad. Very sad. But there's something I can do for him that I'm not doing that's going to turn him into a decent person. The second group of women is looking for some kind of resource. Whether it's your sympathy, whether it's your listening ear, whether it's your encouragement, whether it's your money, something that she doesn't get from her partner. So she posts this horrible thing about your partner, her partner, and you go running up to her saying, oh my God, you deserve so much better, queen. This is validation she's not getting at home and she doesn't intend to leave. So she says, I'm going to get that validation from you. Women, we like to be the one that got done wrong. And after thousands of people pour balm into that wound and tell this woman how strong and beautiful she is, how she deserves more, how they would give her the world, she says thank you. And she uses that empowerment to stay with this no good man for another 10 years. Oh, I was so exhausted of being treated like that. And now thanks to you, I am rested and refreshed. You're evil. But the third thing, and I think the most common thing that women are looking for when they post these kinds of stories about their terrible man is some kind of leverage. You ever been in those groups? Oh, are we dating the same man or whatever? And a woman comes in asking the most pointed questions in the world. Oh, does anybody here know a DeMarcus with a beard and he's a Leo and he works at UPS? And, you know, list the list down and all these women respond and they go to each woman and they ask her the most specific questions on earth. She's not doing all that because she intends to leave, babe. She's doing that because she wants the leverage that you're going to give her by giving her all. Yeah, see, this hair just sounds like toxicity, right? And what it shows is single woman bring down women that are in relationships, right? Why are all these women married? A lot of times women that, that have a man, they have to think, I can't make that my friend because what what's the known thing that goes around? Everybody knows. Single women keep other women single. Single women keep women single. Ooh. Because if Ooh. it's all throughout our culture. Go back to In Vogue when they had that little lead in. What's going on, girl? It's so-and-so. It's Oh, you should just leave him. You shouldn't put over there. It ain't no man worth all that. Ding dong. Oh, I got to go. That's Kevin. See? When the woman got a man, mm -hmm. it's always the single friends that tend to be on the outside telling a, mm. that what you should and should not accept. But you ask her. Tell my wife to come in here. Where, where's your wedding ring and your husband? So what will happen is she'll use you. She'll drain your energy. And then before you know it, the same things her man is doing, you're looking for your man to do the same thing. It's just, it's a known thing that, that happens. Like, woman bring down other women's relationships. So you, I mean, you get women who at, at the at the one minute, I love him because he does everything, but you got, got a woman in there. Yeah, he's trying to control. Girl, that's what this is. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, that's narcissistic. Get my wife in here. <laughs> get my damn wife in here. <laughs> that's why when guys on relations with a woman, they always say, I used to say it. What I talk, to, what I talk with you about in this house, don't go out and share it with other people because what will happen before you know it, you won't be in a relationship anymore. Or you're going through problems or you're going through headaches and who wants to deal with that everybody keep asking me why you won't leave him alone why you won't leave him alone that man is a certified grade a five star munch -kateer. a munchkin if you will a munch i'm not leaving him alone i'm not letting up sorry 
If men are so unhappy in their relationships, why don't they just leave? Great question. I got a lot of messages like that after I put out the last video. Number one, the reason why they don't leave, I'll tell you right now, it's money. That is the number one reason. You have to understand when a man leaves a long-term relationship or a marriage, he's probably going to have to, if there's children involved, pay child support. If he's married, he's going to have to give up half of his pension. He's going to have to move out of his house. And if he has children living in that house, he's going to have to still pay for part of that house plus get an apartment. He's going to have to support himself. Money. Money is, I believe, the number one reason why men don't leave. The second reason is, I believe, access to their children. Men don't want other people around their kids and they are afraid that if they break up with you you will go you will meet someone else you will move another man into their house and there will be another man around their children men like having 24 7 access to their children and they lose that when they get divorced or you know if they're in a long-term relationship and they leave um the third one is going to be their comfort men's you know home is their castle they have their things arranged the way they like it. They have maybe they have, you know, a man cave or they have a garage, how they like things. They don't, men don't like change. So now if they break up with you, they now have to uproot their entire life and move out and go, what, live in an apartment somewhere when they can have everything they want right here? Mm -mm. They don't want to leave. They don't want to change their life and their comfort. And I believe the last one, the main reason, and this is not the main reason, but like the last one of the four main reasons, is if they have like some sort of business or if they're in church or temple or, you know, they're worried about what people will think about them. They really are. Men view marriage, like they view divorce as almost like a failure. And um, a lot of times they come out looking like the villain and they don't want that. And they do care about what people think about them. So a man will stay in a relationship for those four reasons don't mind my throat, making you absolutely like miserable and they don't care because it's all about them. Huh? Men will go behind your back and cheat on you and they won't leave. They will stay and they will stay because it's for their comfort. It's rare that a man will like leave and go find himself like a multi-million dollar woman who can put him in like a beautiful... You know what's wild, right? With all of this talk she's doing, she didn't mention men... Of course, it's because men don't like change. All that stuff she says is somewhat true. But the main thing that she said, the one part where she said men do it for God, of course, that's why. But a lot of times it's not all about doing it because of what people think. Men just want to stick things through a lot of times, right? Men know for better or for worse, men actually still believe in that. So the fact that women don't, of course, they don't nowadays which you see women leaving guys and taking their money, taking their pension, as she said, take all that stuff, all that's reasons. But the main reason is a man just doesn't want to go through the nonsense. A man wants to stick it through. Why would a man have his wife and then give everything up? That's why sometimes you see men, they'll take being with a woman that's fat, a woman that's overweight, and they won't complain, right? Because they're just used to it. That's what they know. That's what they're used to, and that's what they have kids with. Why give all that up? Why give it up? Why? But who is it easy to give up for? For women. And men have to deal with that. We have no choice. Beautiful lap of luxury lifestyle. That's because if a man that's very unhappy did find that, that man might leave. And you do have men that do leave their wife and kids. Listen, it happens all the time. I understand that. But your average guy, they won't just up and leave. They will stay miserable in the marriage because they don't want to give up money, children, comfort, status. Stop the cow. Those are the reasons. In the case of myself and my ex-husband, we kind of figured it out um, that we weren't happy. And I, you know, I like I said, I have a special needs son. We sat down like two. I knew it rational people we were able to talk it out and say listen i'm not happy he wasn't happy um and kind of like work out a way where it was financially okay for the two of us but i understand a lot of women are stay-at-home moms or they don't have careers like i had and it's very hard for them not to say take a piece of their ex-husband's pension and they do need child support it is what it is but um, and, and they do, they're going to need this to raise their children. But if you're asking me why they don't leave, it's, uh, it's money, children, comfort, and status. And they will make your lives miserable while they stay in this uncomfortable relationship 
they'll stay forever uncomfortable. That's just what a guy will do. It's, uh, it's not advantageous for them at all to leave, so they'd rather just live miserable. It's however you want to live your life. That's the best way I can put it. It's, um, men don't leave. Not, they do leave, but they don't leave, if that makes sense. I hope that helped. Take care. Be well. Who better hearing it from than a divorced woman, right? Really, you take it all null and void. When a divorced woman give it advice, and what's that? Loveline.911 giving divorce advice. This is what we have nowadays. Divorce TikTok specialists telling you about their problems. What does that do? That creates more women getting divorced. Guys, we had we headed to hell in a handbasket. We're already there. When she thought I was over some other girl house. When she thought I was over some girl crib. Look at this. Man, TikTok. Look at this. Look, TikTok. That brother needs to run. Yes. Damn. Damn. Back window. Oh. Congratulations. You played yourself. Oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Y'all probably throw the bricks at each other. <laughs> Toxic. Why would a man stay? Look, I don't care if a man wants to get his passport or not, but why would a man stay in a relationship like that? Like, you're bound to go to jail. And the guy said, you might as well hit each other. No, they might as well not hit each other. They might as well leave each other. Why stay in that situation? Why? I've been in a situation like that. You know what I did? As soon, actually, it wasn't for long. As soon as she did that, I left. Why did I leave? Because I knew I would be in handcuffs soon. I stayed with her. I'm in handcuffs. She initiated it with me. I'm not staying with a woman like that. I, I, I don't trust the girls I see here raising my kids because I have seen women. So the girls he's on a podcast with are wives, modern wives. And he's, he doesn't trust them having their, watching their kids or having their kids. This is why. This is what he's saying. Listen to him. Trust the girls I see here raising my kids. Because I have seen women but that's sniffing like out, well, sniffing out lines in bro. front of their kids. Those are not only your kids. Those yeah, are your kids happen. as yeah. well. Anyway, I've, I've, I've seen girls sniffing out lines in front of their, their kids. I yeah, but like those are not. Wait, no, 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 you're, you're he's, sleeping he's, with he's, these women, though. No, he's the correct. I feel like it's a cultural difference. I don't think you can't find a wife in this country, but it, it's about the odds. It's about the nature and the nature. See, if you're in this country, it'll be an odds. You might have to go through 50 girls to find one that you could potentially marry. I feel like in your country, because the culture is different, you probably have to only go through five girls to find a Yeah, wife. but the thing is, when no. we're talking about simping, right? Yeah. The thing is with the women in the Western world, they, and, hang on, and women in the Western world, they seem like they want guys to simp. Do you know oh, what? Hang on, wait, wait. They want guys to simp for them, okay? Mm. So what happens is, when a man simps for a woman, right, it puts him in the feminine, and it puts a woman in her masculine. Yeah. And so what what happens is, is that the man starts to be a woman and the woman starts to be a man um, and so what happened and, and, and so uh, i'm just I'm saying and so what happens is is that the the dynamics of the relationship get skewed and so women <coughs> while they may like because women generally lack attention you're women you lack attention yeah, right yeah. <clears throat> however too much attention from a simp you ain't going to respect him. No, I mean, just, just, think of, just, think of, just, th that. just think of the guys that you guys have liked the most. I mean, right. were they really simping for you? Or they weren't giving you the attention you, said, you wanted? Do you know what? A man only, you can only, <clears throat> you only feel like the woman is taking the man's role if the man is not providing and doing the masculine, nah, what's being the know? masculine do you know that what he needs to the be. Man is? You know, what you see here, and I'm going to stop right there. Women clearly don't realize how them wanting men to be all about them, give them this, give them that. It creates that energy where there's no respect, right? I've seen it. I've lived in New York and seen when you're extra nice, you don't get respect. I've even had situations where women 
thought I was too much of a nice guy, right? And and the reason why I was in areas like in the hood, in the ghetto, you probably can hear from the way I talk, right? I'm from South Side Queens, so I was in areas like that. But I'm not like everyone else. I've always had jobs. I wasn't the drug dealer dude. I wasn't that dude, that woman seen as that guy that maybe you need to be afraid of him or maybe, you know, he'll buy everything I need. So over sin, but still, even that guy, right? Even that drug dealer guy still can't be too much of a sin. Why? Because he gets no respect. And a lot of it is passport bros. Bro. Oh, here we go again. Those got disgusting. Oh, oh they, and then they, they go over to Europe for looking for these kind of yeah, women. Yeah, DR. But let me let me tell you something, passport bros that love to just go get women in DR. You played yourself because a a girl in DR is eighteen and she's really fifty five. No, you go over there thinking that you're gonna run into me. Yo, you're not. These girls got game. They've been having games since they were five. B pretty you know much. what? At five, they were eighteen. You assume too much. You know what I mean? So, because it's a thing now where guys really go out the country thinking they're gonna groom someone. When in reality, congratulations. You play. You you you're played actually, yourself. You're being groomed. You know. And you know what I think has happened? I think there's a big because of what's been seen on video on TikTok, right? Guys keep showing DR. Guys keep taking videos of DR, showing themselves going through Colombia, showing the woman selling it. That women have computed all passport bros is doing that, right? What's wrong is a lot of women's brains are skewed. Because think about what guys are saying on YouTube and think about what they're saying on TikTok, right? For instance, I'll give you an example. I have videos on, on TikTok. It's nowhere near enough videos that the people are making and people are watching that are negative, right? And then also on top of that, you have a 10 times more women being negative than passive bros are uh, posting positive things. So that's, that's what's going on right now. So what do you think all of the women are thinking? They keep seeing woman video, another woman, another woman that... They're busy. They're posting and posting and posting and posting. It's kind of like passport bros have no choice but to hold the line. Facts. Right? It's sad, but some, some people may be getting tired of it. Oh, why is this passport bro stuff out all the time? Because it has to be. Right? Think about it. The minute I stop talking about this and turn around and make videos about other stuff and don't make any more passport bro videos, Look what happened in the past month, right? You probably got about 10 to 15 more videos of what's going on in DR. T another five to 10 more videos of women bashing guys, right? So once I go and go make other content, then what happens? Men are seen in this light. All men are seen as dark. They win because men get seen as all oh, these creeps going to get underage girls. All that stuff they said sticks. It's, it's wild, but it's really like that. And it's sad. It's a sad situation because the more and more we be quiet, the more and more they pin us in a certain narrative. Do they win? No, they don't win because guys are winning by leaving and getting, getting women that works for us. But still, more brains start to get skewed. More men are confused because not every guy. It's impossible. But most guys are looking at this going, oh, listen to what the woman is saying. And it's sad, but it's going to continuously be like that. It is starting to change, though. But I guess we got to keep fighting until it changes. But guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we can't let let it be let the narrative be painted about us because, you know, I want more guys to travel. I want more guys to get free. I want more guys to get outside and experience the better food and experience the better quality of living and experience better real estate. Right where you you can buy a condo and that condo will double in price. Like, guys don't know that. I got this condo two years ago. It's double, It's going to be double in price by next year. So I got the condo for $2 million. Next year, I'm, I'm going to sell it for $4 million. Think about that. Think hard about that. And that's when you realize this is the way. Passport, bro. Passport. No. There's definitely more to life than going through the nonsense back home.